All right, welcome back everybody. So continuing this uh, example that I was showing. So if you want to add this or substitute an H for for this little um, two carbon ethyl chain, what will happen is you have your N, H, right? You still have your acyl group attached to the N. You have your pair of electrons. And um, now it'll go into the ortho position you will have one in the ortho position one two right plus you will have another one another product in the para position so let's put our N H O R right that positive that plus is not part of the O that's just this is showing two products so you have this plus this product and then you have uh, the two carbon chain hanging off in the pair position now what you can do since this uh, since the first step is reversible now what you can do is use H plus comma H two O right and this will change It'll completely get rid of this ACO group and regenerate your NH2. So you'll still have two products and it'll look like this. You have your NH2 group now back here. You have your aromatic ring. And now you have your two carbon chain in, chain in the uh, para position. And then you have one product. And H two. Um, you have your double bonds there, and then you have one in the ortho position. So you have your one of your products in the ortho position, the other one in the para position, right? So there you have it. Those are the five uh, reactions of the substituents present on the aromatic ring. Now let's do a quick little recap of what we have covered. So let's just get started right away with our little recap and review. First one, if you have a, let me just round this side right here. It has to be aldehyde or ketone, okay? It has to be aldehyde or ketone. And the carbonyl, so the C double bond O, has to be directly attached to the aromatic ring. So the C double bond O cannot be somewhere here. It has uh, this reaction only occurs when the carbon of the carbonyl is directly attached to the aromatic ring. So you use H2 palladium carbon catalyst. It will completely deoxygenate and uh, give you this product right here. So you lost a double bonded O. And the next reaction is this one. Um, is when you have an aromatic ring with an alkyl group with at least one hydrogen on the carbon directly attached to the ring, right? You use potassium permanganate, KMnO4. You use a proton source, a H source, which is I'm using H plus. You can use even hydronium, and you use heat to give you your carboxylic acid. And any type of alkyl group that follow that fits into this criteria will generate the same product. It will be the same exact exact carboxylic acid product. So again. If you have no H's on the carbon directly attached to the aromatic ring, no reaction. The third one um, is if you have a nitro group present on an aromatic ring, um, you could use H2 palladium carbon catalyst, which will give you your NH2. However, if you don't, however, say if you have um, NO2 and a carbonyl present, a ketone in this case you can use SNCO2 to only change the NO2 to NH2. This carbonyl compound right here will not be affected by using SNCO2. However, if you use this reagent, this would change the NO2 to NH2 and it will change this to an alkyl group. It will be completely gone. And that's only again if you use the H2 palladium carbon catalyst. In this case we didn't, so the NO2 will only be changed to an NH2. Now the fourth reaction was if you have an NH2 and change it back to NO2. So the reverse of NO2 to NH2. 
you use per acid, which is the CF3C, two O's in between, next to each other, and an H, and you have this little C double bond O right there, over CF3CO3H, you'll generate your nitro group, you'll regenerate it if that's that's what it is basically you regenerate your nitro group by using these reagents with NH2 as your substituent present in the starting material the fifth and final um, reaction is when you have a NH2 and you could use the the reagents for acylation Friedel Crafts acylation however you're not going to uh, substitute a hydrogen on one of these carbons for this group what's going to happen is that you'll substitute a hydrogen on the NH2 for the ACL group and it will look something like this and now what you could do is do any other types of Friedel Crafts acylation and alkylation and the benefit of that is that this is reversible and you, how it's reversible is by using a proton source so I'm using H plus and H2O to regenerate this so I'll completely get rid of this ACO group if you use H plus H2O and it will regenerate your NH2 so an example was right here that I've shown um, you have your aromatic ring with NH2 you do the Friedel Crafts acylation it will substitute a hydrogen on the N for the ACO group now let's just say now we can do the Friedel Crafts alkylation or acylation in this case I picked alkylation and then I, I alkylated this system and since this is now electron donating group because it has a pair of electrons um, on the atom directly connected to the conjugated system this group right here this electron donating group will direct the alkyl group to the ortho and para position so this is the in the ortho position this alkyl group and the other product will be in the para position right here as shown now you can use H plus H2O to get rid of that ACO group right here and regenerate your NH2. So it almost looks like as if you did the um, the Friedel Crafts acylation alkylation using having NH2 as your starting material, but in essence you did not. You did this little intermediate steps to be able to do the Friedel Crafts alkylation and acylation. So there you have it. Those are the five reaction that occur on aromatic rings and so for the next video next part we'll be discussing some examples some synthetic uh, routes in order to create a product from a starting material using our knowledge from these reactions of groups on aromatic rings and the five reactions I showed you in the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions video so stay tuned for the next part of this topic.